see it. So. 30 seconds till we're back, everybody. Tons of energy coming back Wait, out of the yes, commercial break. Yes, yes, new day yes. in the ring, and they're waiting oh. on Bobby Lashley and MVP. Coming back in eight, seven, six. Tons of energy coming back out of commercial break. Yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. It is Let's see that energy out yeah, there. Rock. New day rocks. New day rocks. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Rhyming One, the only. I am Hobo Tom. And now I am five second famous Hobo Tom. Because, wait a second. I need some stage directions first. <laughs> Coming back in seven, six, five, four, three. Tons of energy coming back at a commercial break. Here we go. Back to yep, that's right. As you can tell by the thumbnail, this guy, the one, the only Hobo Tom. I've gotten my. Five seconds of fame. Doesn't even matter. I don't need five minutes. I don't need 15 minutes. All I needed was five seconds of fame. I managed somehow to get on to Monday Night Raw. Thunderdome, baby! Wait. Need more stage direct. Yay! Thunderdome. Thank you guys very much. Remember to sign up for SmackDown on Friday. Ooh. And have a great night, everybody. Thank you. Yep, that's right. Oh, wait. Here's a picture of me. Yep, that's right. This guy made it onto Thunderdome. I was wearing all my other purple Macho Man shirt. Again, WWE, you need to wear your Macho Man shirt. And, yeah, I'll be showing little clips and stuff. I'll, I'll show the other video towards the end. I managed to email a few. Oh, what did she send me? All that stuff. Indeed. Yes. Let me talk about some Monday Night Raw. Because I'm going back to this format. Um, now that I have one, one fewer job, this is a little bit easier. I get to relax. Uh, last night I also made my infamous drunken cookie brownies. Which is also good. Um, probably... Because it is the hurricane showing up, man. It's supposed to show up tomorrow. We'll see. Made some drunken cookie brownies for the people at work so we can celebrate. Have a proper, have a near proper hurricane party. You know, I think it's either going to be a very heavy tropical storm on like the other side of the state. And we might get rain. But you never know. Um, also, some news about this week. Well, this show is going up as soon as I can get it up. I was tired and zonked out. Apple cider vinegar like went right through my system last night. So glad I went to sleep when I did. I had a good workout though, so I'm happy. Um, today I'm going to be doing a live stream for the Great American Bash. I'll get that set up. Maybe I'll do, I don't know. We'll see if I have time for a predictions video or not. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to do a review. For, or should I go live for you? Now I'll just do a review for AEW. Thursday, unfortunately, I close. So there'll be no video Thursday. It's Friday night. There will be a SmackDown review. And then next week, 
It's going to be review, skip NXT, AEW. I didn't work early that day. Yeah. I think so. 10 to 4.30. I think that's 2 to 8. I'll, I'll take a look in my book. So I'm going to be missing Impact. Um, also, I have to close next week. So I'll be missing part of Slammiversary. That's the way things pan out. My Money in the Bank's just going to be review. WWE's gotten very tricky in the fact that now... Now they're really narrowing in on especially the audio part. So I have to be careful about that because I tend to play things loud. So you guys used to be able to hear them. <sighs> Unfortunately, with the, the pay-per-views, and you can blame WWE for this, they're just going to wind up being reviews, which saves me some time. Uh, saves me a little bit of a hassle at least. But I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence about that. We shall see. Or I just might play from my one computer. Who knows? But yeah. Um, oh, the next week I'll also have the predictions for Sign Anniversary. Maybe I'll have Hobo Tom. Maybe I'll have um, Dr. Tom and El Vagabundo Hobo Dose come in and do that. So I'll, I'll figure out something. That's next week. I have two days off. Actually, it's right with two days off. There's no beach. Indeed. But enough about this. Wait. That's right, we're back, folks. So let's talk a little. So let me do my review about Monday Night Raw. Overall, pretty good TV show. I think the fact that I was there. Even though I was getting stage directions, it was pretty cool. Um, starts off with everyone in the ring for the ladder match. Yeah, you know how that's going to go. There's going to be a schmoz eventually. Uh, starts with our next uh, first match of the evening, which was really good. Um, we have Ricochet versus John Morrison. Wow. Really good solid match. Uh, Ricochet strike heavy to begin with. Uh, even the clothesline in the corner was great. John Morrison makes a comeback as he properly should. Uh, they have the in the middle power bomb. You know, the Miz gets in the middle of a power bomb. When they go to the outside, um, the power bomb into the barricade was great. The ground and pound by Johnny Mundo. Oh, I'm sorry, John Morrison. I can't stop saying Johnny Mundo. But I don't know why she uses you. I haven't done anything. But yeah. Uh, then, and back in the ring, standing Spanish. Fly! Oh, that should be the finisher all the time. Or at least a top rope Spanish fly. But yeah, that was so good to see him do the Spanish fly again. You still got it! Dun, 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 dun. Johnny Mundo. Should have started that. Should have yelled, Johnny Mundo, baby! But yeah, I got on a little bit afterwards. Um, Ricochet counters with a tilt roll DDT. Not the satellite DDT, that's a little bit different. That was a great pen attempt. Great combo pen attempt. Wow, it is the sun, I guess. Yeah, it's that, it's that time of day, I guess. I kind of woke up late, had stuff to do, and just kind of said, Pfft. Got some stuff done, let the cat out, got my mail, paid bills, so. Wait a second. Focus! I need to be focused. Uh, great, great pen attempt. Uh, Miz is so. Miz got in the way of Rick Shane as he tried to get in. Johnny Mundo! 10! One by the count out. It was almost going to be a Flaming Young match again. 
phones ringing, who cares? Um, this time, still a good match. Surf and turf quality match. Then we have uh, Jinder Mahal comes in on a motorcycle. There's Reginald Nige uh, after that. He talks with uh, the two Tiger Singh boys. Uh, then there's the regional, the uh, regional Nia Jax and Shane to get ready for the match. Um, we go to break. After the break, we have Naomi, Nikki Cross. Oh, Nikki! I hope to God this was Nikki's idea. If this was some idiot writer's idea of having her be be almost a superhero, Nikki Ash. No, that's, that's no boy, no. If it was someone else's idea. If it was her idea, Nikki, go back to being Nikki Glenn Cross. That was best. But yeah, uh, this was okay. Um, so we had a eight-woman tag team match. Alexa Bliss, Nikki, Nikki Ash, Asuka, and Naomi taking on Nia Jax, Shannon Baszler, all read everything. Eva Lucian, Eva Marie, and Dewdrop. Dewdrop has to. They, they should have had her turn after that first match, but that's okay. Um, Eva Marie gets a blind tag, and then she just did a, a blatant forearm to the to the tits of Naomi. Naomi didn't feel a thing there. Naomi, Naomi couldn't fly. Then all of a sudden. The freaking, as Simon Miller says, the buzzer goes off and everyone starts, all the faces start flying onto the heels. Uh, Naomi goes flying, Asuka, the flying hip attack, Nikki Cross does her flying splash, and this leaves Eva Marie in the ring with Alexa, creepy Alexa Bliss. Not necessarily a good thing. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, there was a little back and forth there eventually. I think it was... Asuka got stuck in the middle, of, and then it was like the, the double squash, the, I forget if it's a compactor or just double squash by Dewdrop and Nia Jax, the two biggest women in the ring. That would be a good match to have. Piper Niven and, and Nia Jax, that would be entertaining. Uh, Shannon eventually takes it to Asuka. Eva always gets a blind tag, the very opportunistic tag. Uh, Asuka then straight kicks. So that was pretty good um, when Shannon Baser got back in the ring. Oh, then there was a Simone headbutt. Simone headbutt's best headbutt. I hate to say it, after seeing Piper Niven's headbutt, she kind of like rocked herself. Simone headbutt, definitely number one. Simone, Scottish headbutt. It used to be 1A, 1B. Scottish headbutt's number two. Uh, there was a little comeback again. Uh, Shayna. And Asuka traded arm bars, so that was great. The combo by Asuka and Naomi was really good. And then, geez, I forget who won this match. Oh, yeah. Um, poor Nikki Cross ate the pop up Simone block from. Because there was a bunch of tags, no one knew who was legal. So, uh, Nia Jax eventually tagged herself in. And Nikki's outfit still looks terrible. Um, the pop-up Simone drop, that was great. The heels win, Naya, Shayna, Eva Marie, and Dewdrop win. Of course, can't be that simple, though. And the winner, Eva Marie. And Shayna's like, what? What did she just say? Overall, this was a pretty good, fun, entertaining match. Solid cheeseburger match. Then we had Bobby Lashley and MVP in the VIP lounge with all the fine hooker ladies. Yeah, that's right. You didn't hear what I was going to say. So that was pretty cool. There's they got another match later. Uh, next match was Mustafa Ali versus Mansoor. This is when I got in the Thunderdome. Yes. I was shocked because I was like in the middle of making brownie cookies. I think my show up time was 9.15. I showed up at 9.15 every so often. I'm like, yeah, try again. I figured, second time, I'm like, yeah. 
Who just had to wait a little bit longer? Like, wow. This this this, this screen got bigger. I'm like, why is there a picture of me there? I'm on the own baby. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Then there was so this was kind of a classic match. I was like half excited about it being on Thunderdome. I'm like, yeah, let's hear some boos. Let's hear some cheers. Um, even though this is kind of like a teaching match, uh, Mustafa Ali, fairly quick classic wrestling match. Mustafa Ali again cheated. He defeated Mansoor. He's like, see, you need me as a mentor. This is one of those classic, hey, you need me to heal as a mentor match. I have to teach you to be heal. It was an okay match. It was really quick, though. Ham sandwich of a match. When we had Jinder Mahal versus Drew McIntyre, and this just was a hard-hitting match. Very strike-heavy. Very few kind of, if any, they had some basic wrestling moves, but very hard-hitting. Again, looking to get that ring rust off, kind of get, I guess, back into the flow of things. Who knows? Uh, eventually, the uh, two, the improved Bollywood boys, I'll just call them that because I forget what, what who, Tiger Ali, no, not Tiger Ali Singh was someone different. But yeah, the, the new and improved Bollywood boys came in. They got involved. So yeah, that was a that was a kind of that was a DQ finish, baby. But it was good though. It was good to see Jinder Mahal back. For what it was, solid cheeseburger match. And this is where the show kind of like really picked up. They had like three matches in really quick succession. Because then we had Mace and T Bar. They took on Lucha. That's why we were told. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Oh, it's weird. They're telling you to like to, to boo the people you want to cheer for and cheer the people you want to boo for. So it's kind of weird. Kind of weird like that. Where was the Charlotte in? Yeah, I'll, I'll stick that in here. Probably after that. Oh, yeah, that's right, because then that led up. So we had Matt Riddle. Taking on AJ Styles, and this was a really good match. Though. Um, classic submission style wrestling match to begin with. Both trading submissions, that was great. Again, Riddle's going for things like the knee bar, AJ Styles. Um, the calf puller, not so much the calf pressure. Really great start. Uh, Matt Riddle. Again, those knees, that was really that was really good to see. AJ Styles, the dragon screw leg leg grip, well, dragon screw leg whip. Um, on the outside, Matt Riddle tried to do something. Omasha just kind of swept the leg. That was great. That freaking one big arm. They trade blows, the proton bomb, and then we almost saw AJ Styles versus the top rope again, but this time it was planned, and that was and that was from Chikara. Mainly. Because um, AJ Styles went up for the phenomenal forearm, got kind of, I think Matt Riddle kicked the rope, so he kind of fell off. Not as bad as as the Shikara spots of AJ Styles versus Top Rope, but still, kind of that very quick flashback to that. Uh, Matt Riddle then begins to channel Viper Randy Orton. Does the draping DDT. Eventually Matt Riddell hits a roll up because AJ's distracted because the Viking Raiders were hiding behind the barricades. I couldn't see that. That was weird though. They were just like hiding. You're like, huh? I wonder if the person who's like underneath the barricade actually sees that. I don't know. But that distracted AJ enough for Matt Riddell to earn the roll up victory. Good match though. Solid. AJ Styles really can do no wrong. Cheeseburger match. And we had <clears throat> R Truth and what was supposed to, well what was supposed to be R Truth and Jackson Riker taking on Elias and Cedric Alexander. Um, first thing that comes out, Tazawa comes out running, he's being chased by the uh, rest of the loser locker room. 
our truth tries to get a roll-up figure on him, but this time Tozawa knows to kick out for the surprise roll-up. He's still the 24-7 champion. That belt's just been terrible. Um, our truth goes running, joins in the loser locker room, going after his title. I don't know why, but yeah, um, that leaves Jackson Riker essentially a handicap match versus Elias and Cedric. Eventually, Jackson Riker beats up Elias enough. Elias just walks away. So I was like, "What the heck happened?" Cedric was actually getting some good, good offense in on Jackson Riker. I hope this really ends the Jackson Riker Elias feud. It should have been the strap match, should have been the blow off. Maybe Elias learned his lesson and say, "Hey, I'm done." Uh, Cedric Alexander gets the big slam. Meh, ham sandwich of a match. Then we have the Charlotte promo where she comes out on a crutch. Rhea Rip, uh, she cuts a promo. People said, yeah, cheer her. I'm like, no, boo Charlotte. Boo, Charlotte did lose weight though. Probably in a, probably in a good way. Um, a lot of it came off her face. I don't know about those plastic surgeons in Mexico though. You can never tell. And then Rhea Ripley came out, and it's like, what the heck? I'm like, who do I... This is one of those times where it's like, I don't like either of them. And we're told to cheer Rhea Ripley up. I'm like, yay, Rhea Ripley, I guess. She comes up hobbling. And then they start dual-wielding, uh, well, not dual-wielding, but wielding crutches against each other. So... Yeah, that, that was what it was. Uh, eventually, I think Rhea Ripley lost her crush. She took Charlotte, beat Charlotte. Charlotte says, hey, you're learning from the best. And I'm like, this is not good. Poor Rhea Ripley. All I can say about that. Then we had the New Day. New Day rocks. New Day rocks. So you see me doing the, the hands up. New Day rock. New Day. Wait. Hey. Yeah. Hey, 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 my God, hey, 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 um, so that was fun, and, and, like, they were telling us to boo Bobby Lashley and MVP, I'm like, no, I'm cheering Bobby Lashley, I like heel Bobby Lashley as a champion, Bobby Lashley as heel champion is good for the WWE, he should be cheered, even, he's just so good, the thing is, he's just so good, you want to cheer for him, though. Because he's that good. It's like when the heel is a spectacular technical wrestler. Like, you know you want to boo El, El Fantasmo. But you just want to cheer him because he's so crisp in the ring. It's so hard to boo really good wrestling technicians. Even, heel, even if they are the heel, you're like, Bobby Lashley's good. You can cheer the New Day, too, because they're the more traditional faces, but Bobby Lashley, you just want to cheer for. He's a great, great wrestler. Uh, classic collar and elbow tie-up. I like that. Uh, when MVP was in the ring against, I think, Xavier Woods. Good rope running by Xavier Woods. The chop block to MVP, MVP's bad knee. Bobby Lashley gets in. Oh, just takes it. A poor, smaller Xavier Woods. A big shoulder. Heavy strikes in the corner. The shoulder rams. Um, there was a good short suplex, the good vertical suplex by MVP that got countered by Kofi. Then, of course, New Day did the unicorn stop. And you always cheer, unicorn stop. Yay. Uh, the, again, the great heel double team. Kofi. With, with the tomahawk, flying tomahawk chop off the top rope. Then the boom drop. The Trouble in Paradise at Bobby Lashley that knocked him out of the ring. Um, MVP to another Trouble in Paradise. MVP gets pinned. Bobby Lashley doesn't look too happy. See, this would kind of be that natural progression where now, where they broke up the Hurt Business too soon. A lot of people have said this. But now this is a natural progression. It's like, hey, MVP's like the third wheel. You're Bobby Lashley. If they do this over... It shouldn't be SummerSlam. They kept this up where MVP would somehow cost Bobby Lashley the victory. 
but they did it for a good four more months. That's a good build up. Well, that's for the most part is a good build up for WWE. If it's like next week they split, nah, too soon. A good at least four months, if not leading into potentially WrestleMania. So a good four to six months of this. That would be a really good buildup. Don't kill it so so soon. Uh, with that, that was I'll tell you what an entertaining Monday Night Raw. A shock of a Monday Night Raw. Um, again, I told you guys the schedule for the rest of this week later uh, later today. Um, especially by when this video goes up, I'll be having some cheeseburgers, onion rings, French fries. It's gonna be the All American Bash, and I'll probably be doing a live stream of that. They shouldn't get the audio for that. I might even have a beer. Cause it's an All American Bash. Um, she bacon, cheeseburgers, French fries, onion rings, and beer. Sounds natural to me. I haven't eaten much last night anyway. And then Wednesday, what am I doing? Oh, Wednesday I do a review of AEW. Thursday I can't watch Impact. I have to work that day. Friday I'll be doing a review of SmackDown and if go to Hoboken because Sunday it rained and it was the 4th of July. Uh, 